Hey what's guys, what's going on on YouTube? Uh, 206 Analysis here from MMA Socials and CalixSports.com. Sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. Again, job. The job keeps me out of it, keeps me out of the loop. I still know what's going on, I just can't make videos, I just don't have the time. So really, I, I, got, a, I got to watch a couple of the fights uh, in the UFC 136 uh, main card. Didn't really watch the preliminary card, because again, I don't do, I don't really watch the prelims, even though I'd love to. It just, it's too much predicting, and you know, my, my prediction record, which is very solid, it would just be, would go to hell. So, uh, to the main card, uh, first fight of the night was Melvin Gallar versus Joe Lozon, and I was I didn't make a prediction, but the prediction was I was taking I was taking I was gonna take Joe Lozon to take the fight by a by a uh, submission in the second round. I was right on the, on the uh, fight outcome, but not in the round. He got him in the first round in the first minute, which I knew that Joe Lozon, which use would use his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu against Melvin Goulart, who is still a very low rank in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, fighting in the fighting. Uh, fuck, I'm sorry, guys. In the in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fight game, he's I think he's only a blue belt or a purple belt. It still doesn't you know if you're going against a guy who is very high ranked Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown and black belt, you're gonna have a very 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 tough time fighting guys like that in the UFC. Now with Bilal, you have you the fight guys you were fighting were main were normal stand up guys, and you got I'm just saying you gonna got yourself in a bad fight and. Uh, it, su it sucks to see you're out of title contention, but it's good to see the title contention just narrow down just a little by little, because we need to find the, we need to get all those contenders out of the way to get that one right contender. All right, next fight was Leonard Garcia and Nam Pham, the rematch from from back from 2010, from uh, December yep December of 20, 2010, uh, where Leonard Garcia got the very controversial split decision over Nam Pham after Nam Pham basically dominated him for three rounds. This time, Nam Pham got the right decision and got the unanimous decision, 29-28 on all three scorecards. So, uh, I'm, I'm glad the, U the UFC judges finally got a decision right. Fucking A, man. I was, if, if that decision went to Leonard Garcia again, I would have punched out my whole apartment. My whole apartment would be just destroyed because it would happen again. And I, I know it happened to the same fucking guy who gets it all the time. Because Leonard Garcia gets so lucky with those judges. He's been getting, he's, he just gets lucky with these judges to get, you know, kind of just that some, like, you know, when he loses the most, when he's getting his ass kicked in some fights, the judges look at them, look at his, like, you know, look at him and they give, what's one judge might give him the fight or one judge gives him at least a 29-28 round when it's 29-28 fight when it maybe was a 30-27 fight. You know, it's, the UFC judges are just really, really stupid nowadays, and I think it's really the fans that should be judging the fight, not the, not the uh, judges who stand ringside and, you know, right, you know, that are just, that are in a different angle, because they, again, they see different angles, we see different angles, but we're normally the ones that see the winners, not the judges. All right, now to the next fight was the middleweight, uh, Bout between Chael Sonnen versus Brian Stan, and the Chael Sonnen got the arm triangle choke in the second round before the four minute mark. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this, guys. I love Chael Sonnen. I just love Chael Sonnen. Not no homo, guys. No homo. But uh, I I love Chael Sonnen's chat trash talk. You know, I just love hearing him always going like, "Yeah, I was, I'm gonna fight a guy. I'm gonna I'm finding a guy named Anderson Silva. Yeah, I never heard of the guy. I I, I hear he's the UFC champ. Yeah, but he, that's nothing special to me. I don't, I just loved that. I I loved seeing that. Uh, too bad that he lost the fight because I was hoping he was gonna beat Anderson Silva. Even though I think Anderson Silva is the greatest of all time, and I think he's better. I think he's the greatest of all time. Uh, no doubt, no doubtably. So, uh, and also he he did kind of get an easy fight. Even though Brian Stan is a very very heavy handed fighter, he isn't the ground guy that we would like that you know that we normally would see with a guy like him with a military background where they always where you know military they're always they're work they mainly work on grappling instead of s striking. But you know, it's it, it's kind of sad to see Brian Stan lose because I like I really like Brian Stan. I like Chael Sonnen, but you know. In the end of the day, one of them's got to stay. One of them's got to lose. So, congratulations, Chael Sonnen uh, and Brian Stan. Good luck on your next fight.
I hope I'm. I hope you win next. I hope you win next, your next fight. Now to the next fight, the co-main event, the featherweight championship bout between Jose Aldo versus Kenny Florian. Uh, basically, I didn't watch the fight. I thought it was just going to be a pointless fight, but I heard Kenny Florian actually did pretty good. Pretty, did okay for the first round. He, I, I heard that he caught the first round, but he just basically couldn't win. Couldn't get around right after after that. So. Kenny Florian, a 35-year-old fighting for a UFC title, and after he basically lost to Diego Nunes and at this press conference saying, yeah, uh, I'd like to fight Jose Aldo, and you know, it's like, oh, okay, you're the, yeah, you, you almost won the Ultimate Fighter the first season, but you basically can never fight, I've seen you fight guys for championships, for the championship, I've seen you fight BJ Penn and get your fucking ass kicked, get your, get choked out, I've seen you fight Sean Shirk, <laughs> Sean Shirk and get your ass kicked, you, yeah, basically, we all know that you can't fight a title fight, you can't t fight a title contention or a title fight because you always choke, so yeah, let's put you in there with Jose fucking Aldo, so, yeah, he got, he basically couldn't win the fight, he couldn't win a round after the first round, and that's very unfortunate to see from Ken Flo, but again, you're 35 years old, you choke, but you choke, basically every big fight so I'm not surprised <laughs> so there you have it uh, now for the main event uh, Frankie Edgar versus uh, Gray Maynard uh, Gray Ma uh, Frankie Edgar won via TKO in the third round in the fourth round uh, it was ba it was going with it was going towards Maynard's way from when I was watching I was I was saying Maynard was which was uh, winning because when I first saw that first round and I, I scored myself 10-8 I was like fucking eight Again, another 10 8 round. And then the next round, Cranky Yeager wins the round. I was like, oh, fuck, here we go again. So, uh, after the fourth round, I was just saying, okay, Gray Manor, uh, congratulations to Gray Manor. I didn't, I didn't want you, but, you know, I was like, F I didn't want you, but congratulations. Then, boom, he just gets dropped, and Cranky Yeager just wins the fight. And I am so glad my prediction record stayed solid for this whole fight. I'm not kidding. It stayed solid 5-0. So this is the first time for it to stay at, stay at a perfect record, and I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, MMA gods. And uh, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get out of here. Let me see one second. My fucking computer's being a dumbass. All right, uh, I'll see you guys later. This is 206 analysis, and I will see you guys some day, maybe th this month. All right, peace.